Hello and welcome to this course titled Angular 1 Services in Depth. This course is going to cover services in Angular 1.x version of the framework. Uh, there are actually three topics that I want to cover in this course which are kind of closely related. Uh, first of them is Angular 1 services. Services are a type of uh, objects or a type of functionality that you can plug into the Angular 1 framework. Uh, we'll talk about why we need services, what you need to use it for, and how to use them. Uh, after we cover services, we're going to be looking at one of the several services that come out of the box with Angular, which is the $HTTP service. This comes with Angular, and you can use it to make HTTP requests. $HTTP, I would say, is one of the most frequently used services that come with Angular. You use that to make REST API calls in order to get data from a REST API endpoint or to save data to a REST API endpoint. This is how you communicate to the backend from your front-end Angular application. We're going to be looking at how the REST API service, the $HTTP service, can be used, and we'll write code to actually use it. Finally, we're going to be looking at promises and async programming in Angular. This is a natural result of looking at the $HTTP service. Uh, $HTTP uh, re requires us to use something called promises. It's basically a pattern to deal with asynchronous programming in Angular 1. We're going to look at what promises are and how to use them. Before we start, I just want to make a quick note about the prerequisite for this course. Uh, I hope that you have some familiarity with Angular 1. This is not are uh, going to be discussing Angular 1 from the scratch. Uh, you must have had some experience working with Angular 1, or you should have taken the Java Brains course thinking in Angular 1. Uh, if you're completely new to Angular 1, I definitely encourage you to take the thinking in Angular 1 course before you go ahead. But the other thing I should note is that this is the Angular JS 1.x version of the framework. This does not cover Angular 2, so make sure this is what you are looking to learn. All right, so what are services and why do we need them? In the Thinking in Angular JS 1 course, we've looked at the ng controller directive. We created a bunch of ng controllers in our page and we had the corresponding controller function. We did this because we said global variables are bad, global data structures are bad. We would like to kind of bundle related functionality together and not put everything in one global space. So we created these controllers, we created controller functions, and the ng controller markup would work on the scope that was created for the controller function. Each controller had, it, had its own scope and everything worked in its own little container, right? So we kind of solved the global problem. We don't have a global anything. But now we have the opposite issue. What if you want to share things between these things? Now each ng controller and a controller function is its own island. It has its own scope. It has its own you know area where it works on. So it, it's really hard to share. So how do we share things? We don't want to get back into the global paradigm again, right? We don't want to put something in a global namespace. Now let's say you have some business functionality or you have some common data. You don't want to define that in each and every controller. You want to have a common space where multiple controllers can use it. How do you do that? Well, enter services. Services are an AngularJS construct, which lets us create these separate things. Uh, they could be objects, they could be functions, which can be shared by multiple controllers. Again, the idea is not to have a global entity. Instead, we have these new constructs called services, which are essentially shareable. You can have a service created and you can share those that service among different controllers. We're going to take a look at how that's done, but that's the whole idea behind services. Services are essentially reusable elements in your Angular code that can be shared across multiple controllers. These can be values, constants, objects, functions, so pretty much anything in JavaScript. So you create those services and have that shared across different controllers and different elements in your HTML. 